Hey guys, uh, Mumshad here and welcome to this video. Uh, I wanted to record this quick video on uh, the next steps after purchasing the uh, Kubernetes certifications. So in the previous video, I explained about um, a sale that was run by Linux Foundation and um, how to purchase the actual uh, exams and uh, the, the bundle itself. I'm going to explain in this video what you need to do to prepare for the exam and um, how much time it's going to take and how much time you have to, to give the exam. And there were a lot of questions regarding how to register for the exam and all of that. So um, th that's what I'm going to address in this video. Okay. Okay, so uh, for those of you who have who missed out on the sale that was run last month. Mm. So that's the only sale that kind of happens in the whole year, the biggest sale of the year. So if, if you missed that, uh, don't worry, you can still get a discount uh, if you use the Kubernetes 15 coupon code and you, you, can, get a, you can get a 15% off while purchasing the exam. Okay, so this is for the exam itself from Linux Foundation which usually costs around $300, so you can get a 15% discount if you use this coupon code. Okay, so what happens after you purchase, right? So there are, there are three stages, or three phases, I'd say. So first, you purchase the, the exam from Linux Foundation, and then you register for the exam, and then you give the actual exam, okay? So let me just pull up the email. Um, a sample email so when you purchase um, from Linux Foundation as you did previously you you'd get a an email like this you know from Linux Foundation about the order and it has information about your purchase and it actually has a registration link and a hundred percent coupon code right so so when you purchase from Linux Foundation you're not actually purchase the exam itself um, especially if you if you purchase the bundle uh, you're getting, uh, you're actually not purchasing the exam itself. So they send you a separate email with the, with another coupon code that you can use to get a, you know, to register for the exam. And you, by you, and you can register for the exam by clicking on this link. Okay. So you click on this link and you'll get another order page, just like the one you had before when you, when you purchased the first time. And then here, uh, you put in the coupon code that you're given here in your email. So you take that and you put it in here and then you click add coupon, then you'd get 100% off. So you don't have to make any more payments. So you've already paid for the exam, so you don't have to make any more payments. So that's 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 the first step, right? Okay, so if you read this, it says the voucher coupon code expires in one month, so be sure to register for the exam uh, before then. And then once registered, you'll have 12 months to sit for the exam. Okay, so let me just explain it here. So these are the three phases, as I said, you've already purchased, and then the next step is registration, and then the last one is the exam. So you have one month from the time of purchase to register for the exam, and after you register for the exam, you have 12 months to prepare and schedule and give the exam. Okay, so you have 12 months for, to give the exam, and that includes the retries as well. So you have, a, you have one free retake, so you must exhaust that within the 12 months, okay? So uh, if you purchased it during the Black Friday sale, right? And then uh, you have one month to uh, open your emails, click on this link and register for the exam. Now I'd say there's no point in waiting, okay? So because the, the vacation time is coming and uh, everyone's going to be in the vacation mode and it, it's very likely that you are going to forget that you even purchase the exam. So there's no point in waiting this one month out, right? Um, as soon as you can, I would say, go ahead and register. And you still have 12 months, a whole year to plan, prepare, and give the exam, okay? So yeah, um, yeah, so no point in waiting. Go ahead, register for the exam today, and then you can schedule it later, okay? So that's what I wanted to highlight. Okay, next. What do you do after you register for the exam? Study materials. So at codecloud.com, we have three courses that will take you from a beginner to uh, and get you uh, certified in, in CKA as well as CKAD. 
Now, if you're an absolute beginner, you have not worked on Kubernetes at all, you have not worked on Docker, then I would say follow this path. First, go through the Docker for the beginners course. So we cover a lot of lo Docker basics there. So you, you, you need that. And then go to the Kubernetes for Beginners course, and then go to uh, CKAD. I would recommend going with to uh, going with CKAD first. So spend um, you know first few months learning you know learning about CKAD. It's it's an easier exam to target, and you get a feel for the exam. And then CKA is a tougher one. It's it's the one that takes longer to prepare, um, and it's the longer exam. So um, that I would say uh, schedule it to the end. Okay, so this is the, this is what I recommend, and I just thought I'd also kind of put down the numbers around how much time it's going to take because a lot of my students reach out as, to me asking how long is it going to take for me to complete, you know, prepare and write or deliver the exam. So uh, this is something that I came up with. Of course, it totally depends on you and how soon you pick up, but I've I've kind of been very lenient with this. Okay, so uh, uh, I'm starting from all the way from Docker. So, you know, uh, if you know the basics of Docker, you can skip the first row and then start from the second. If you have already worked, you have a little bit of experience working with Kubernetes, I'd say skip the second row as well and then you can directly go for the certification preparation exams. So if you have two hours, if you only have two hours a day to spend on your studies, then I'd say it might take you a week to complete the Docker course, uh, uh, one or two weeks to complete the Kubernetes course, around a month, uh, one or one to two months for the CKAD, and then about three months for CKA. Okay, so this is kind of being very lenient, assuming that you're a very beginner, and uh, if if so, then it might take you about you know, five to six months to uh, go from an absolute beginner to two certifications to achieving two certifications right cka as well as ckad um, if you have a bit more time four hours then i think you should be able to do it in about three to four months again this is i'm, I'm being very lenient um this uh, for the absolute beginners i would say and then if you have you know more time to spend you know if you can at least spend six hours every day then you should be able to finish in two to three months and there are students of mine who have actually done it in a month who are absolute beginners and have been able to crack it within a month's time right so the more time you have to prepare for it uh, the sooner you can deliver and uh, uh, yeah of course this totally depends on you and when i say two hours a day make sure that you spend the full two hours you know solely on preparing so plan to complete at least a few lectures and practice the labs as well so all of these courses come with labs so you must uh, go through a lecture followed by its lab and and try to stick to it okay so yep that's all uh, that i had to talk about thank you for listening if you have any questions feel free to reach out and um, we'd be glad to glad to help we also have a slack channel and so please do join that we have a lot of good discussions uh, that's happening in there and we have a lot of good people who are there to support you. So please do join and uh, I'll see you in the course.